please find description for online training and other interesting stuff this is our read dtc information tutorial part 2 in previous part we have discussed uh, five sub functions in this tutorial we are going to see about um, you now three sub functions the sub functions have been categorized for a better understanding and uh, before that uh, before going to the service we'll just uh, look upon uh, the introduction of uh, read this information although we have been covered in the previous tutorial it is better to brush up once so this service is to let testers know the details about DDC and its related information and yeah in this service we can read the diagnostics trouble code information of one or more server which includes submission as well as non emission related information so we are quickly uh, look about the three sub functions there is 0, 03, 0, 04, and 0, 05. These three sub functions have been categorized because um, uh, the three sub function belongs to snapshot record. So, before going to the sub function, just try to understand what is snapshot record. Yes, whenever there is a mall function occurs, the system records the values at the time of mall function. There is some data have been recorded in the system. The data stored can be accumulated as snapshot data. So you can, you know, in a, in airplane, if any crash or accident occurs, there will be the component called black box, which records everything in that same way, uh, the snapshot acts in the ECU. The snapshot data can be erased by clear GDC information. If you want to erase the snapshot data, you can use the 14FF as a clear GDC information. Okay, so now we'll start up with the sub function. First sub function is 03. So the 03 is to report the DDC snapshot. Yes. So this is used to read DDC snapshot number and DDC present in the ECU. So the request as 1903 and the response as 5903. Yeah. Uh, now you might not understand. So you can jump into the next slide. You can easily understand these things. So before that, mall functions. Oh, you can just uh, have a small discussion on mall functions. What is mall functions? Okay. There is some fault occurs, right? So we have a number of faults that I have, I have been listed out here. The fault one, there is uh, for the fault one, for example, you know, uh, accelerator is not working or brake is not uh, giving the proper pressure or um, anything, some sensor has been failed to act. Any fault you can consider, there is, is considered as a fault one. For that fault one, the snapshot number is zero one. And the DTC for the fault one is, double one double one double one then fault two snapshot number for the fault two is zero two the ddc is double two double two double two this is for your better understanding i have given in this sequence but uh, you have to make sure that your ddc or your snapshot number your snapshot number may be this uh, may be the kind of uh, same but the ddc never be like this then uh, the fault three the snapshot number for the fault three is zero three and the ddc is triple double three or triple three three yes an explanation for the request and response so 1903 that you know 19 is a service id and 03 is a sub function then xx is nothing but yeah so xx is a so um, ddc snapshot number and uh, in response you can come to know see uh, 5903 have sent and uh, double one double one double one is dtc's that is uh, number of dtc present then zero uh, zero one or zero two zero three is snapshot number then zero c zero f and eight f is a uh, dtc status in a, for every dtc there will, uh, there will be the dtc status so with uh, the the third that is the fourth byte of the DTC sequence is the DTC status. Then, before that, we can catch you with yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Then, we can uh, check with the 0 for the sub function. And this this sub function is to report DTC snapshot data uh, by DTC. Yes, if you know the DTC, you can uh, request by the DTC. Yes, this sub function is used to 
read the respective DTC snapshot record by the DTC number present in the ECU. For that, you have to ensure and aware of the DTC number. So this request is 1904 So again, response you get n number of response. So you can uh, uh, clear this in your explanation column. See 1904 double one that is triple one triple one and zero one. Here we can see triple one triple one is DTC. Then ATF is a uh, is DTC status and zero one is a snapshot number. Yes. So if you know the snapshot number you can give input as a snapshot number so in this you have two inputs one is snapshot number another one is dtc by giving these two you can come to know other informations like dcc uh, what what is the number of dtc identifier that is this snapshot identifier we have a number of snapshot identifier if you are giving this snapshot number then uh, the number of snapshot identifier also you can get in this then double y double y is did that is data identifier then triple z triple z is dtc snapshot record okay so these things maybe you know it's a bit confusing if you are uh, going through this very first time you have to watch uh, twice or thrice to memorize and uh, understand this stuff so this triple z triple z is dtc snapshot record that means you know a dtc snapshot record is nothing but at the time of malfunction so what is the exact data that is what engine rpm for example if you hit somewhere or if the car has some breakdown so at that at the point of time what is the engine rpm what the gear position what is the friction between the wheel and surface so like this what are the datas you want or what are the datas present with respect to the dtc all the data should be stored in the form of dtc snapshot records so now i guess you can clear with this right so see if you are requesting with these uh, with this uh, 19 service and sub function then input as DTC and sna a snapshot number then you will get the response as these things that is DTC whatever you are getting then DTC status you will get and snapshot number that input what you gave is you can get then DTC snapshot identifier then did data identifier then uh, DTC snapshot record so these things you can get the next sub function is report DTC snapshot by record numbers so the previous one is report DTC snapshot by DTC and record number in this you are giving an input as only record number so this implies this sub functions is this sub function is used to read DTC record by record number present in the ECU so uh, you can uh, read records which relate to the DTC record number so again hereby we have given 19 and 0 5 as a sub function then 0 1 as a request in, in turn the response you are getting is again a bit confusing so we can jump with the explanation so the request and response as 1905 triple one triple one then zero one yes here we got the response so we can explain with the sequence zero one is a snapshot number and request as well as response then just the PC snapshot present in the ECO records by the so here you don't want to give the triple one triple one you can uh, remove you can give the request only as 1905 then 01 so the triple one triple one is not uh, not needed it, it implies it is a previous uh, you know previous sub function so in this you don't want to include this triple one triple one then 5905 zero one this is the response you are getting is zero one is a snapshot number then triple one and triple one is dtc's that is not only triple one uh, triple one then eight of is a status byte and here you have to understand that xx is a number of identifier then yy is a data identifier then triple z triple z is a dtc snapshot record so this is you know it may be a bit confusing at the beginning but if you go through twice or thrice definitely you can easily understand and we try to explain in a very easiest way so uh, we just made the complex stuffs into very simple so once you understand this one then if you start to work or if you start to read the other stuffs you can easily understand the things so here we completed the three you know three sub functions um, then in our uh, upcoming tutorial we'll finish this off with remaining sub function that all these are all other sub functions are very simple i guess 
um, after that we'll include or more testing concepts that would be you know very mandatory for the people who are entering new as well as the experience so uh, please keep on watching our video and subscribe if you're not subscribed and share to your friends who are join new to your organization mm, keep watching bye bye catch you in next video